We were recently asked in one of our videos in the comments section about the Fine Paints of Europe putty products and whether we had done a video on that. And we hadn't, so we decided this week that that's what we're going to do. This is Dan Frost from HDF Painting, the fine art of painting, and this is Top Shop with Frost. Okay, so what is putty? Well, there's a, a bunch of different uses for putty. There's a bunch of different names for putty, but basically, and there's a bunch of different brands of putty. So basically, when we're talking about painting, interior or exterior, we want to use putty to repair imperfections, imperfections in a wall. So you have some holes from pictures in a wall. So you have some cracks on a wall. You use putty. Putty can, use, can be also considered as joint compound. Okay, the names are sometimes interchangeable. You can use putty on uh, trim, okay, that has some imperfections, some holes, some cracks. You can use it on the exterior too. Um, but we're talking about a whole nother different putty product by Fine Paints of Europe. And this product is used in preparation on surfaces that have to be really, really smooth. Okay, so that it'll take the high gloss finishes that Fine Paints of Europe has, and so that you get that really high, high sheen. The surface has to be perfect. And those are the putties we're gonna talk about. So in this video, we're gonna focus on the two different um, putties that Fine Paints of Europe offers, okay? In our other video of the How to Use Fine Paints of Europe Hollandak, we briefly talked about the Swedish putty. That's one putty. The other putty that we're going to discuss in this video is the brushing putty. So the first putty we're talking about is a Swedish putty, also called Andui. It's a, a remarkable product. It takes um, some patience to work with, um, but when you're trying to create a really high gloss finish, finish it's the perfect putty to use as a base coat. Okay, It's, um, it's fine to use it on uh, walls. It's fine to use it on wood, it's fine to use it on metal, okay? Um, it's made up of titanium, silicates, uh, mixed in with some linseed oil and varnish. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to mix it up really well and, and, and apply it in thin coats, okay? And let it dry for 24 hours, all right? And then after you sand it, apply it again, thin coats, until you get that really shiny surface. A um, couple of things that you should be aware of because of the silicates in that you want to make sure you wear a mask when you're doing any sanding and you might want to use some plastic gloves when you work with the product. Okay. The next fine paint to your putty is the brushing putty and people say well what's the difference? Well if you have say some kitchen cabinets or any wood that has open grain to it and you want to fill it. Well, the brushing putty is a perfect product for that. Now the difference, one of the main differences with the um, Swedish putty, you don't have to prime it. Okay, you can just apply the high gloss finish coat over that. With the brushing putty, you have to prime it. Okay, that's one difference. The other difference is that you want to apply the brushing putty with a throwaway brush and like it, like this name, brushing, you just brush it on. You might have to thin it out with some of the Fine Paints of Europe thinner um, to maybe 5% or so, but play around with that until you get the consistency like a thick primer. Um, it's, it's a great product for building up. It's a high build product to build up those um, um, gaps in open grained wood surfaces. So that's the key on that. It's really good on uh, like mahogany hand railings or oak, any type of oak. Um, it's a great product, brushing putty. If you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button. And if you have questions that weren't answered, please leave a comment and we'll be sure to get back to you. The Dan Frost from HDF Painting, the fine art of painting, and this is Top Shop with Frost.